and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our brand new die set, Build a House, and we are also introducing the Reveal Wheel Build a House add-on that turns this house into a really cool interactive reveal wheel. We also have some great templates that make it super easy for lining up that reveal wheel window. Build a house is so super cute because you can build a house just like that card on the left or you can make the house into an interactive reveal wheel card and we're going to be making these two cards in the video today. The other really cool thing about Build a House is that it has both a Halloween add-on and a Christmas add-on that help you decorate the house for either Halloween or for Christmas, and they are so super cute. Then you can use the Halloween or Christmas house with the reveal wheel or not. So here's a little look at what cards with the Christmas add-on and the Halloween add-on look like. We're going to be doing the intro video to the Halloween add-on and those cute little stamps that work with it later tonight, and then we'll be doing the Christmas intro video with the cute little stamps to work with that in September so you guys will have to check that out then. Here's a look at all of the pieces that come with the build a house and there's a bunch of pieces that you can mix and match and use or not depending on how you want your house to look. So here is a look at the top roof and then we've got the cute little shingles for the first story. Then we've got a piece at the bottom that kind of gives your nice little base for the house. We have a really fun door as well. And one of the reasons that I really like this door is that you can leave it closed or you can bend it right at the embossed line that the die creates for you and create a door that opens and closes. We even have a cute little doorknob that goes with it. There are some cute little steps that lead up to the door. And then we've got a base piece that you can layer behind the window frame to create the glow behind the window in the house. And then we can layer that window onto the first story and a chimney right on top. Then here we've got a cute little window box and some flowers that you can add to it or not. And that small little strip goes right behind it to fill in the centers of the flowers. And then you can layer the flowers right into the window box. Now the top window works in two ways. You can have it open for the reveal wheel with that decorative frame on top, or you can fill it in solid. And the way you do that is you layer that window frame right onto that solid piece that's gonna give you the glow from inside the window, and you layer that right over that opening, and that's gonna give you your filled in house. This is the Reveal Wheel Build a House add-on, and so it's got that great window opening with that puzzle piece top that fits perfectly into the Reveal Wheel. So we're gonna drop that right in, then we can run that through our die cut machine, and we're gonna have a Reveal Wheel card front with the window-shaped opening in it. Then in the Reveal Wheel, there's a different frame for the window, and this frame is a little bit less detailed, so you can really see what's going on inside, so you can have stamped images moving in that window. So it just kind of depends on the look you're going for if you want the more detailed or the more simple window for up top. So here you can see the house on its own without Reveal Wheel, and then you can take the house and layer it over the Reveal Wheel, add that frame, and now you can create a really cool interactive element. The first thing that we're gonna be working on is using the build a house without the reveal wheel. And we're gonna start off by making a gorgeous sky background. These colors that Shara used are amazing, dried marigold, scattered straw, and tumbled glass. And so she's gonna be layering these on with blending brushes, and she's going to be creating this really cool layer of blue to yellow to orange that's gonna create the most perfect fall sky. And I can't wait to try this myself because this is just stunning. Now you're gonna have a little kind of line between each of the colors. And to blend that back and forth, we'll go back to the blue and blend it over the yellow and then back to the yellow and go back and forth so that there's a nice seamless blend and you don't just have a sharp line between the two colors. Now that that's all done, we're gonna add a little finishing touch with some of the new liquid stardust. So what we're gonna do is shake up that bottle really well, add it to a craft mat, and then mix that with a little bit of water just to water it down some so that it's not kind of stark sparkles, but a little bit more of a subtle shine. So we'll pick up that with a paintbrush, tap the edge of the paintbrush, and splatter that all over the cardstock. The water is going to react with that distress ink, creating really, really cool texture. And then we're gonna have that beautiful shimmer from the liquid stardust. To add even more detail, we're gonna pick up some watercolor here. This is kind of a pearlescent white color. And then we're also gonna be picking up one of those gold colors. And that's what's gonna create this just stunning fall sky. I am so in love with how this turned out. I think this is gonna be the background for every fall card I make from now on. 
Now we went ahead and cut a bunch of fall leaves that come from the leafy backdrop die. And I love these little fall leaves. They're so cute and they've been cut out of fake tan sunflower and chili pepper cardstock. Now to give them a little extra detail, we're going to take some Distress Ink colors, in this case Rusty Hinge, and one of those tiny little blender brushes and just add a little bit of color to them. When you do this, it takes the die cut and makes it look so special and it's really quick and easy to do. So we're going to mix and match all of these different colors. We'll use the fossilized amber on the sunflower cardstock and then the fired brick on the chili pepper cardstock. And how stunning are those leaves looking? This is a nice quick and easy way to get some texture and some detail without having to go and color each and every single little leaf. We're going to die cut the grassy border from some white cardstock, but to give it more of a fall look, we're going to be using some yellowy browns instead of greens. So this is scattered straw and fossilized amber. We'll just build up that color with the blender brushes again, and then add a little bit of detail with the darker color on top. And that's going to give it kind of a dried grass or straw look. Now here's that leafy backdrop and we've gone ahead and die cut that out of some paper bag cardstock. It's one of my favorite backdrop dies. It's so beautiful for scenes. And this is the brand new rainforest color of cardstock and we've die cut a, the largest stitched rectangle frame. And I love that beautiful deep kind of turquoisey teal color. Now to go along with the theme of everything is getting inked, we're going to use gathered twigs ink and add some ink to that tree. And we're also going to add a little ink to the house. So the house has been cut from the new speckled eggshell cardstock, which is a really pretty kind of a creamy color. And we're going to add some hickory smoke ink, any kind of gray ink would work, using a really tiny little brush. And that's going to give the house more of a realistic look. It's going to have that kind of weathered look of a fall house. And I think it just looks stunning. Now it's time to start layering some pieces. So we're going to add our sky onto a five and a half by four and a quarter inch card base. And then we can add our leafy tree backdrop right on top and then our grass and frame on top of that. To help all of the other die cut pieces match, we're going to take the roof pieces and also add a little bit of inking on either side of them. And you can see just how gorgeous that's looking and it's really going to tie all of these pieces together. And I always feel like that kind of inked edge really feels like fall. I'm so excited for fall. It's my favorite time of year. So we're going to be layering on the first story roof and the bottom piece of the house and now the top roof. You can see how just cute that's looking already. Then we're going to be cutting the door out of some mermaid cardstock and I really wish I had a turquoise colored door now because it's the cutest thing ever. We're going to bend right along that embossed line there to create a door that's slightly open and then we're just going to trim off the steps on that to create a little bit more of a simple look for the door. Next, we're going to be layering the window frames that have been cut from that same rainforest cardstock over some sticky note cardstock to have that yellow glow for the window. We can layer the first story window there and then the second story window right over that opening. And that's how we're going to turn this house in just to a plain house and not a reveal wheel house. And then last but not least, we can add some little stairs going up to the door and a tiny little doorknob. We'll add the house on with some foam tape and then we can layer some fall leaves into the scene. And this is really what makes the whole thing just perfect, adding some fall leaves onto the house, at the base of the tree, and onto the tree too. And I just think they look so gorgeous, oh my goodness. And then for a special finishing touch, we're gonna add some fall leaves to the inside of the card too. And this is really cute. I always kind of forget about decorating the inside of my card, but this is a great place to put your sentiment and to decorate with some little die cuts or even some stamped images. And so it looks like the leaves were all falling so much that they even fell to the inside of the card. Our card is all done and I just adore this fall build a house. I also love that depending on how you decorated the house, it could work for any season. And that's what we're going to be doing now. So now we're gonna be making a reveal wheel card. So we're gonna drop that window add-on right into that puzzle piece of the reveal wheel and run it through the die cut machine with some white cardstock. That's gonna give us the base for our reveal wheel. And I wanted to create an inked sky because I was really inspired by Shari. So we're gonna be mixing here some tumbled glass and peacock feathers distress ink using a blending brush to bring that color on and build it up. We'll put the lighter blue towards the bottom and then the darker turquoise at the top. And so I really love the idea of this ink blended sky. And for this card, instead of making a fall card, I'm kind of making a general card, just a year round card. Feels a little bit springy maybe. And I 
love that just by changing the colors, we can take this die cut into any season. Now for some texture, we're gonna spray some water, just plain water out of a spray bottle. And then I like to take a paper towel and pick up any of the excess. And I'm gonna keep spraying and adding water droplets just to add some texture to the sky. That way it almost looks like maybe there's little clouds in the sky or kind of air moving around. I just think it looks really, really pretty. Next, we're gonna take the grass that's in the mushroom border die. I love this grass because it's got that great hill to it and they're also just kind of like tiny little blades. And we're gonna run that through the die cut machine from a die cut that was also cut with the reveal wheel so that it still has that beautiful stitching all of the way around. And we're gonna layer on some twisted citron and some mowed lawn distressing. We're gonna put the darker green at the top and then the lighter green at the bottom. And so now we'll have some grass that has that inky edge just like our sky and we can layer that right onto the scene. Next, we've die cut the build a house main piece out of some apricot cardstock. And we're gonna take some apricot ink, which is a matching ink for it, and a blender brush, and just build that color on. And by using the same ink that matches the cardstock, it's gonna give it a little bit of detail, but it's gonna be really, really subtle, which I like. Then the other thing we're gonna do to add a little detail is we're gonna add some siding to this house by using a scoring board and a bone folder. So I'm gonna go every quarter of an inch and just score down this whole house. And so this is just going to add, once again, a little subtle texture along with that inking just to make it kind of special. The other thing that would be fun is to maybe cut it out of some pattern paper and that pattern paper could add the detail to the house for you. Now it's time to add the details to the house. So we've cut those out of some fog cardstock, which is a very light gray that looks really, really pretty with this apricot cardstock. So we'll layer all of our pieces on, and then we're going to take the door and cut that out of some white cardstock. And instead of putting the door off to the side with a window off to the other side, we're going to put the door right in the middle, and that's going to give us kind of a different look. Next up, we're going to take the window frame that's included in the Reveal Wheel Build a House add-on, and we're gonna be layering that to the open window, leaving that window open so that we can have a change happening with our spinning Reveal Wheel. And you can see just how cute that looks once we add the window, it really finishes up the house with that siding and the inking. I think it looks really, really cool. Then just to add a little extra something, we're gonna add a chimney on top and also a tiny little doorknob to the door. And our apricot house looks just perfect and ready to put inside our reveal wheel scene. So we're gonna start working with some other elements. And this, I was inspired by a card by Grace. She created a super cute schoolhouse that we're gonna show you at the end of this video that's just gonna blow your mind. But I thought it was really, really cute how she decorated the whole area. So we're gonna add some little steps there to the bottom of the house, and then we can layer that house right over that opening. That opening is gonna match perfectly with the window opening that we already have have on our build a house die. Then we're going to take out the tree before and afters. And I love the stamp set because the trees are so cute. And we went ahead and colored those with kind of a springy summery look to them. We're also going to take a little picket fence that comes out of the spring house add-on for the scallop treat box. You could use any picket fence die or stamp here. And we're going to layer these on either side of the house. Then we'll add our white picket fences that are gonna tie in with the white door and the white window frame. And I just love this layout that Grace did. It's just so super cute and it was really fun to change it into kind of a summery look for this card. Now next up, we're gonna do something kind of fun in this reveal wheel, and we're gonna have the lights turn on and off in the house. So we're gonna take the reveal wheel main wheel, and we're gonna die cut that from storm cloud cardstock and sticky note cardstock. And I'll just put that in the paper trimmer and cut those into quarters, just like little pizza slices. Now I want this to be a complete surprise that the lights are gonna go on and off. So you'll see that I'm trimming right at the emboss line that's on that main wheel. And by doing that, just trimming right underneath that line, that means that on the outside of the card where the wheel's gonna peek out, you won't see any of the color that's gonna be changing. So there'll be no hint as to what's coming next. And you'll see when we put it together exactly how that's gonna look. So I'm just gonna trim those scallops off and add some tape runner and then layer those on. Doesn't really matter how it looks, because no one's gonna see that inside part. Here are those templates, and we have a triple window and a quadruple window, just depending on how many times you want your scene to change. In this case, we're actually only gonna be adding one image, so I'm gonna use that quadruple window. And we're gonna be using the new Tiny Christmas set. So this set has tiny images. They're perfect for when you make that Christmas house that I showed you at the beginning of the video. 
but by just using that cute tiny little dog, we can turn this stamp set into a perfect stamp set companion for our spring house. So in this case, I'm gonna put that cute little dog in just one of the openings in the one that has the lights on. Next, we're gonna take a small brad and put it up through the smaller wheel base and then up through that main window, opening up those prongs to secure everything in place. We'll take the whole thing and flip it over and add some foam squares around the brad but not touching the brad. And if you've never made a reveal wheel before, make sure to check out the intro to reveal wheel video. We're gonna link it in the description below. So we're gonna peel that liner paper off the back of those foam squares, and then we're gonna take our wheel and line it up in the window. So we're gonna line that dog up until he looks really, really nice. We're gonna hold that in place, and then line it up with that base piece that we've cut that doesn't have the window opening in it. Once everything's lined up, we can press down, and we're gonna have our wheel perfectly in place. Then we can put foam squares all around that wheel but not touching the wheel, and then layer our frame right on top. Here is where you can see, because we trimmed down those yellow and dark gray pieces, now we've got the white wheel on the outside so you see no color change where your finger goes, but you see the color change through the window. So here is the Happy Village stamp set and it has a really cute congrats on your new home sentiment. We're gonna stamp that in some clear embossing ink and sprinkle on some white heat embossing powder. We can tap off any of the excess and then heat that up with the heat tool to have a beautiful bright white shiny sentiment. Then we're gonna take a sentiment banner die, line that up with the sentiment, hold it in place with some low tack tape and run that through the die cut machine. Then we can layer that right onto the card. I knew I wanted to use some pattern paper for the base of this card, but I didn't want that pattern paper to show through that notch there where you put your finger in to spin the wheel. So to kind of solve that and make sure my sky continues through, I went ahead and die cut another reveal wheel piece there. We're just gonna flip it upside down and we're gonna ink it in those same colors as we did before, the peacock feathers and tumble glass. Also spray water and pick up any of the excess and create a sky that's gonna match our background exactly. Then when we layer these two pieces on top of each other, it's gonna fill in that sky where that wheel is. And I think that's really pretty and it really helps continue the scene. Then we can die cut the arrow from the reveal wheel die set out of some craft cardstock and layer that right onto that sky piece we just created. And that arrow is gonna let the recipient know that there is something to do with this card. And when you spin it, you're gonna have the lights go on and off in the window. Now here is that brand new fall fling paper, which is so beautiful. And there's this great kind of pinky color that matches that apricot cardstock so nicely. They're just perfectly coordinating together. So we're gonna trim that down to five and a half by four and a quarter, and we'll layer that onto a standard size card base of the same size. Then we can add some foam squares to the back of our whole reveal wheel mechanism and layer that right onto the card. And now our card is all done. It turned out so cute. I love that we've taken Build a House and we've made it interactive with its Reveal Wheel add-on and given it more of a springy feel by changing up the colors. When you spin that wheel, the lights go on and off and then you get the surprise of that cute little dog in the window. Here I used colored cardstock to make the lights go on and off, but you could do some ink blending or even have cool colors going through the window. It's so super cute. I just love this so much. Next up, we have some incredible cards by the design team. And first, we have a set of cards created by Elise that are so super cute. I love how she created these really cool scenes for her build a house using the birch trees on this card with those cute little flowers there in the window box. And then on this one, she used the leafy tree backdrop to create a beautiful tree in the background. And I love that pink house too. Here Grace just blew me away creating a reveal wheel with a schoolhouse theme. And what she did was she used our plan on it stamp set that's perfect for schools to add the books and apple and little alarm clock in the window. And I think it's just so cute. Here Leticia cut the house out of pattern paper and it is such a cute look to have that beautiful floral house. So I can't wait to see what you guys do with Build a House and its Reveal Wheel add-on, so make sure to share it with us. Also, don't forget to check out the Halloween add-on video that's gonna be up later tonight, and then the Christmas add-on video we'll have out in September. Thank you guys so much for watching today, and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye. Thank you.